All right, so we're here with episode two of my podcast, the Sap Powers Podcast. I'm just trying to get watch time. This is my good buddy, fucking Mikey Hart. How's it going, man? What's up, baby? I love that you started your own podcast. I love the name too, Sap Powers. You got a yeah, name dude. that you could use. It's like mine. <laughs> it's like heart. You know what I mean? Like heart power. It's like yeah, one and the same. Actually. It's perfect, bro. There's no other Sab Powers on Facebook, on YouTube, or anything. So it's like, buddy, do you see that shirt? Yo, Milk Fish. Food? Yeah, that's a, that's his podcast, everybody. So check out Milk Fish. I've been on a couple episodes. It's crazy. I love it, bro. You're a fucking animal. Yeah, you got, you, I, got, I got. I actually got a shirt in my house for you. So sick, bro. That's awesome. You got crazy <laughs> stories, bro. You're like the fucking Joey Diaz of like our friend group for sure. <laughs> oh, definitely, man. <laughs> Honestly, I had uh, my buddy. He just got out of the bin. He was uh, listening to uh, the podcast, right? Mm-hmm. Let's do a bunch of them. He's like, he's like, he's like the one with you and Custy was absolutely hilarious. He's like you, Dragon. He's like in that random kid. He's like I don't know who he is. His name's Sad Powers. I'm like yes, <laughs> yo, that's awesome. That's so sick, dude. Yo, this you actually sound good. You look good, even though you're like outside in the dark and shit. It's kind of cool. Hey, buddy, you wanted me to be on your podcast? Here I am, man. I told you, I'm just over at my friend's place, having a couple drinks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just did one with Taylor, like, literally, like, an hour ago, and then I just put it on uh, YouTube, had, like, one person in the chat watching it live, the whole thing. It was crazy. Yeah, you're killing with the subscribers, eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I got the subscribers, and now it's, like, all about watch time. I was was talking about him about it, too. It's, like, my videos are so short, and there's, like, so many people that are not watching my videos, but I do have some fans that actually, like, watch all my shit, right? So I figured if I started doing a podcast and I have these long ass videos that way someone wants to support me they can fucking watch the whole thing right are you just putting out the audio you're putting out the fucking just a video no the video too video and audio of us just chilling talking so they can look at our pretty faces if they want pardon where are you putting the audio out just uh, just on youtube like I'm not doing and it's not like a real podcast I'm just calling it a podcast but I'll release it on youtube right Put out the audio too. Try Anchor or Buzzsprout. I should, but I'm so stupid with that shit. <laughs> you know oh, what buddy. I mean? I'll help you. That'd be sick, man. Yeah. That'd be fire. Yeah, you get a discount if you use mine too. So, word, word. Oh yeah, like you're gonna fucking set me up with all that shit. That would have been sick. It, honestly, yeah, I'll help you out with it, dude. And you can use my code or my buddy Ezza's, and you get a bunch of discounts on it. So that's fire, bro. Word. Okay, <laughs> cool. Yeah, Anchor's we'll free, but Buzzsprout, but Buzzsprout's like twenty five bucks a month, but you get an extra like five hundred five hundred listeners a month. Like, I'm at like yeah, I don't know. They, they, put, month, they put like ads out for you, something, right? Mm. That's crazy. Like mine, yeah. mine last one was only twenty seven hundred viewers, but I had so much more just the website itself mm-hmm. than actual the actual podcast itself, right? And that's a direction you should take. For sure, man. I'm just like focusing on YouTube because I like how it's like, uh, like they sh- they tell you, okay, once you get to a thousand subs and four thousand hours of watch time, then you can apply to fucking get ads on your videos, and then you get half the money from those ads. It's but just so like, is, like they, you, go, you know, go ahead. Oh, so I just like monetized my uh, website, like mm-hmm. milkfish.com, and one of the things was that uh, I did that ranking porn stars and blah 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 right you can't ex- you can't actually put out sexual shit like that on a blog if you're descriptive but i'll send you the screenshot for it bro it's wild i had to take them down i had oh really almost, almost had 300 views between those two and i had to take Damn. them down that just sucks. so i get monetized now you go on like my website and mm-hmm. i took your i took your ad down for uh <laughs> taylor's just still up there all right, cool. Yeah, good. I didn't want anyone actually trying to buy that ad and then saying I was legally obligated to do what that ad offered. <laughs> hey, dude, it would have been fucking, what was I charging? 450? That would have been easy 300 bucks in your pocket. <laughs> You're taking 150 bucks of yourself. <laughs> fucking right, dude. Processing fees. Damn. It's hilarious. Exactly. Man, you're making me want a cigarette. I wish I could smoke in here, but I can't. I can't smoke inside. I'm outside, my, I'm at my friend's place. So yeah, I'm like just chilling. So it's nice actually. I haven't seen anyone in so long, right? So I'm like, mm-hmm. they're like, hey, you want to come outside and have social distance drinks? I'm like, yes, yes, I do. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> That's hilarious. So you're drinking just like 
staying far away from each other. But I was sitting on my front porch watching exterminators try to take raccoons out of the neighbor's house. Oh my god, dude. That's crazy. <laughs> Fuck, the yeah. animals are just like realized. They're like, the humans are fucking not threat anymore and then they're fucking becoming cocky, I feel like. Yeah. They're just like all over the place now. Oh yeah, dude. I was up north. See like, a coyote probably... in the wild they will try to fight you, bro. <laughs> Sorry for cutting you off. <laughs> You're well, up north. I up... Yeah, I was up north and like didn't see anything really then the last day there me and my brother come back from town and we're bombing down these dirt roads we see the whole family of deer like bambi the dad the kids we almost smoked them and we're doing like oh real God, high dude. speeds yeah, we've seen some bear <laughs> we've seen some bear tracks like the first day we were there near the camp yeah and, like, i was so so paranoid to go in the go take a piss in the dark like it was so bad <laughs> I'm like, fuck yeah, I, dude. Bears are scary. They'll fuck you up like one hit and you're like just done. Like a like, deer, could I could maybe take. No, I just like deer just run away like a bear. What can you yeah. really do? People are like scream. You don't think about screaming when you see a bear. You're just like, oh, oh, oh. by the time it's already running at you and it's that close, you just gotta, you just honestly just gotta accept what's about to happen to you. You're fucked up. Yeah. Like you're done. <laughs> you're done. Yeah. Yeah. Even like you see like you see like a link or like a fucking cougar out there, you know what I mean? Like those mountain cat. Because like where this camp is is like I don't know, like less than twenty kilometers away from Algonquin Park. Mm-hmm. So like all the fucking animals are there. You know what I mean? Like oh. Damn Algonquin's crazy, bro. I went fucking to Algonquin for like a week. So many mosquitoes, yeah. bro. They'll bite you through like fucking three layers of clothing, bro. It's nuts. They don't oh, give yeah. a fuck. Oh, fuck you up. Like, every time I go up there, I wear, like, light track pants, even, like, during the day, right? And still <laughs> covered. So much bug spray and everything put on me, not a chance. Bro. They, they yeah. love my blood. Dude, do you see this buzz cut? Looks good, man. <laughs> <laughs> my you mom that yourself or your mom? Nice. Yeah, my mom was a hairdresser for years. Yeah, look at my ridiculous hair. Oh, it's crazy. It's so stupid. <laughs> No, my hair was like so long and dirty. I was like, yeah, I just trimmed up a bit. She's like, oh, go a little shorter. Go a little shorter. And now, uh, so you guys have definitely heard, I've definitely told the story about uh, me getting a pistol whip to the home invasion. Yeah, that's fucked up, bro. Yeah, so like on the top of my head, I have like a fucking, there's just a bald spot, right? Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh my God. And I shaved today too. I'm like, oh my God, I'm so bald. I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ. I look like a criminal, like a fat criminal. <laughs> Fuck, bro. Which I can accept, but you know, whatever. You, you know. should go all the way to the skin, like fucking Adam Wickens, bro. Adam Wickens. Oh my god. Yo, did you? Uh, did he have who? Yo, who he had him roasting on his uh, YouTube? He did David Green, Stroop, and then some other people that I don't know. Oh, fuck. Yo, you know who's killing it with fucking views and shit like that? Is fucking Zach Shade. He's not killing it as much as Adam Wickens. Fuck. He's almost like twenty k subs now. I know, Jesus, he's he's something else. Mm-hmm. Adam on there. Oh my God, I was looking at his channel. He has over a million views. Bro, all it's together. crazy, man. It's fucking like he's a big reason, like that I actually like started grinding on this shit because it's like, man, it made me realize like it's possible. Obviously, like his cameras are a lot better than mine. His fucking skills, like editing skills, and just like that presence. His family fr- friendliness is a lot better than mine. He's got like a niche, <laughs> but still, like you know, what I mean, I can maybe like he's a friend of mine that's like making it on YouTube, so it's like inspiring, right? So cool. also, he has a very like uh, corner demographic, right? He has very specific. Yeah, like, and he's specific- got so many fucking cool reptiles, and he knows so much shit too, right? And it's like he does his research and whatever. All right, let's yeah, like, like yeah. metaphorically stop sucking his two snake dicks right now. Fucking yeah, uh, like, yeah Zach is dope even- too, bro. This webcam I'm using is from Zach, bro. He came and fucking dropped it off. How fire is that? Oh, yeah. Zach's a great kid. Mm-hmm. Great guy. Big heart on him. I didn't know he was doing comedy for so long. Like, eight years. You thought he was just getting up there giving motivational speak speeches or what? No, I just thought he was just like, you know, first, second year in into it like me, right? Oh, yeah. He's like, been grinding hard, bro. It's fucking sick, man. And he's fucking getting better, like, just like the rest of us fucking uh, – and he's killing it. You're like with the like live streaming on Facebook and shit. Fucking World of Warcraft, bro. I've watched him stream a couple times. Oh, me too, of course. Psychopath. Psychopath, yeah. Subscribe like to his heat. YouTube and if anyone's listening, fuck. 
I hope some yeah. people fucking actually enjoy this shit because I like doing it, right? And you can just talk, and it's like you make content, right? Exactly. That's why I yeah. love. I like having that creative freedom. I like doing whatever mm-hmm. I can, and you know, I think I honestly, I think I'm pretty funny. I think I do some yeah. stupid shit. I like making dumb videos, dude. I'm just <laughs> one in the works right now. Just wait, it's coming. Good shit. Yeah, yeah, I like doing checkmates, but like David's so busy, he can't do it all the time, and it's like fuck. I'm so bored just sitting at home all the time. It's like, fuck, might as well start my own podcast too. And if it doesn't work out, then I can st- keep doing whatever, right? See, honestly, that's what I love about, like, Green. He's, he's such a hustler. You know what I mean? Like, bro, his yeah, whole bread, it's crazy. His whole, oh. bread butter, his whole uh-huh. bread and butter is going out to clubs, doing his open, doing open mics, doing his MC and everything like that. Even that there's no clubs open, he's still making a presence once, twice a week hosting shows they and he's still hosts. making money the people are paying him to do that how crazy is that like how quick he adapted and like he's fucking blowing up on tiktok now bro he's got fucking one video has over two hundred thousand views the other one's catching up is that crazy mm-hmm. yeah and, then he's and that's right just like papers from a week like, or something yeah it's insane like he's uh he has honestly best thing he told me he's like you know what he's like i love the dirty comedy Right, he's like, but I'm telling you, you'll have an easier route in this comedy game if you do clean comedy. Right? Yeah, I love... that's why he was he was afraid to post the cow on it. I kept telling him to do it, and it's like it's not really dirty, but it's like two cats die in the joke, and it fucking blew up so hard on TikTok because it's funny. People do like that shit. They like the dirty shit, and like people like the clean shit too. I think you just gotta do all of it, you know? Exactly. But Dave Don't has fucking... that. Dave has that market of the clean comedy. You know what I mean? That he has, right. that, he has that niche, right? He has that there. And then there's like DJ, which he like bridges in between, right? David's got dirty jokes. He's got fucking, he doesn't always use them. He, like, he does do tons and tons of clean stuff, but he's got some hilarious dirty shit, bro. Yeah, I've seen sure. him do tons of shows. And sometimes like Bramsterdam, he'll whip out the dirty shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> fucking stuff like that which i love because he's like he's a like clean comic but he still gets it like honestly i'm not a big fan of clean comedy you know i mean i'm like you know what that's not really funny it's witty then i started mm-hmm. seeing dave around right and going to the shows everything like that i'm like oh my god i'm like there's actually comedy in clean comedy <laughs> like he opened my eyes to that clean yeah, comedy dude. thing right like which, dry I, bar. which i told them too Fucking yeah. comedians have been blown up on like this dry bar YouTube page and it's all clean and it's crazy and it's like good. You don't even notice that it's clean, right? Like same with David. It's like you're not thinking like, oh, he's not saying cunt at all. It's like you're just enjoying it, right? It's like I don't even really think about it. like is this clean or not? You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like uh, on the radio when they're like, oh, and now comedy bit. They have it like 94.7 and 91.7 and 97.7. They have like little bit like comedy bits, mm-hmm. right, of stand-up guys. I heard this one the other day about it was like some guy with his daughter and like a friend or something like that. I can't remember exactly what they were saying off the top of my head, but I was in fucking tears. I was like, this is one of the funniest things I've ever fucking heard. Not even a cuss word, not even like, uh, not even insinuating towards anything disgusting. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, this is fucking brilliant. Like, holy shit. Like Bill Cosby, I've never found Bill Cosby funny. Like Seinfeld, here or there with the fucking clean stuff, right? But like Seinfeld was like, like you watch like Seinfeld like back in the day and you know the show goes on and that at the end he has his bit right he's like you know these people that try to the worst one ever I just seen it the other day he's like these people that try to kill themselves and they fail do you wake up and think like hey I'm such a failure I can't fucking kill myself I'm like they can't show that nowadays what the fuck Jesus Jerry Christ. Seinfeld said that yeah dude I will, that's I'll awesome find it. I've always I'll loved all his it. shit I'll find it and send it to you. Like even like Comedy Gold was like uh, married with children, you know, like Al Bundy. Oh my God, it was like it was just so bad. It was just so awful. And they're like, honestly, you can't even put that on TV nowadays because people are too fucking sensitive and stupid. Yeah. <laughs> just laugh. Who cares? People are too sensitive. It's fucking disgusting. Seriously. Yeah. That I like. I I don't know. I feel like most people aren't that sensitive, but then there's like a couple people that complain, right? And, like, the people that are sensitive make a big splash, right? And most people don't give a fuck, though. No, and it makes me sick. Well, you know what? Funny's funny. If it's, like, if you if you feel bad about laughing about it, that's even better. Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> feel bad about it. You know why? Because life's too short. Laugh at everything. Who gives two shits? 
Yeah, there's often. a saying I heard. Uh, I don't know who said it first or whatever, but it's like, uh, laugh at your pro- problems because everybody else is or something. I don't know, you know what I mean? Exactly. There's a, like a saying like I'm working on. It's like, you know, fuck them. Fuck what they say. Laugh and do yourself, King. Oh, I mean, yeah, like, buddy. Fuck you know, yeah. For, empowering men. There we go, right? <laughs> Yeah, because everyone's like, you know, because a big thing in podcasting right now is like uh, the women boss, the women CEO thing. You know what I mean? Like it's a big thing. You know what? I fully support that. I'm a mama's boy. I was raised a mama's boy. Most two people, important people in my life, my mom and my sister. Mm -hmm. I'm all for supporting women like that. There's not, if like guys go out there and try to really promote the, you know, fucking male power or like that, it's misogyny. You know, oh, you're misogynistic. Fuck women, blah, blah. No, you know what? Because guys are more broken than most women are. Guys just don't fucking show it. It's time we're going to fucking not show it. Actually, you know what? It's time for us to fucking show it. Yeah, cry for the homies, bro. (laughs) For sure. And, like, most pain in my life, you know what? It comes from me being a fucking idiot and overthinking, but a lot of it is me feeling bad for other people. Seeing other guys, I'm like, you know what? Jesus Christ, if I just get one conversation like I would pour you off himself, right? Like, bro, I'm an ugly Buddy, I'm an ugly, dumb guy. I never graduated high school. I barely got by in life, but guess what? Right. My fucking confidence is right through the goddamn roof, right? Because I believe in me. I know this is what mm. I'm doing. This is ain't the end of the road. There's a lot more than this. There's a lot bigger fucking light at the end of the tunnel. I've been through more shit than most people ever fucking know. And we never expect that from me, me off right off the top? No. Right. Shit, you never you know like, somebody's story, man. You don't know what someone's been through and shit. That's why you should be nice to anyone unless like they fuck you over then it's like you obviously have to defend yourself and fuck them if they hurt you but like if you don't know somebody don't fucking judge them don't fucking treat them like shit or whatever you know i mean you don't know what it's like like the golden rule you're like taught in school and everything like that was like be (laughs) be the what is it what was the golden rule remember it was like do on to others as you'd have them do do on to you That's like no, pretty much that. every religion says to do that. It's the main yeah. rule, right? No, fuck that. Yeah. You know what I believe in? Right? Yeah, that's a great saying. It's fantastic. Mm-hmm. But honestly, be the best person you can to every person you meet. Because mm-hmm. honestly, it takes a lot more to be like that miserable fuck than just be the happy person. Because you never know what someone else is going through. You see someone, right? You're like, hey, what's up, brother? How you doing? You ever met the guy before? Mm-hmm. Cheers. Hey, man, what's up? You could have made that person's life. You know what I mean? Yeah, you never know what kind of impact you have or whatever. True. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Everybody, right, I got to go. I got to back in here. They're All right, me. cool. Yo, thanks for hey, doing this, man. Appreciate you. you the fucking Hey, my man. pleasure. Hey, stop powers. Follow this fucking guy. Also, follow <laughs> Milkfish. Yeah, milkfish. listen to Milkfish. Instagram, Facebook. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Stay milky, bitches. Sap, yeah. I love you, brother. I'll talk love to you, you soon. Love you too, bro. Peace, man. Right. Stay black. All right. Peace.